what are your thoughts on Kobe saying that Meta is the one person he can count on game in and game out to give his all? If that's what he believes in, then, then I'm, I'm good with it. It's, it's his belief, you know, Kobe's belief. You know, I don't know him. I mean, I, if that's what he says, I believe him. Yeah, I know he said it a little while ago, so is, yeah. is, I know that's a way of complimenting Meta, but is that a way of trying to psych up his teammates? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, you would have to ask him. But I, I don't know if I don't know if he did that to try to psych his teammates up or if, or if he really believes that or feels that or, or what. Yeah, I don't know. Because I, I have not talked to him about that specifically yet. Mike, you've been through a couple of games. Like, how would you describe the experience and the uniqueness of that in NBA basketball? Yeah, it, you know, it, 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 when, you, when you talk about a game seven, it, there's uh, there's a sense of urgency, in my opinion, that has to uh, has to be displayed. You know, and to me, a game seven is won by little things. Very seldom do you have a game seven where you just kind of outscore somebody because you're better in transition or you're better offensive team or something like that. A lot of times, if you're going to win a game seven, it's because you came up with more, like 50-50 balls, or you found ways to get extra possessions in a physical, tough possession by possession game. And so, if, if anything, it's more grinding out in that atmosphere than anything else. Kobe was kind of it's fun. No, well, I mean, I think if you're a competitor, I think it is fun. I, I, I mean that's that, that's what you live for moments like this, and and if you if you're a competitor and you believe and all that other stuff, yeah, it could be fun. Yeah. How concerning is it for you that over the course of this series, that the level of engagement for this team has been the same? I, I mean that's concerning, but that's that's also in the same breath. That's part of it's uh, part of why there's seven game series. Because I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure that the Nuggets have felt that they hadn't played well throughout seven years. But I don't think we're talking about playing. I'm talking more just that level of engagement, that, that level of being dialed in to the game, game to game to game. game. Right, that's like, again, I go back to I, I don't know if the, I mean e even Miami Heat. I, I I would say that that they would think in game four that they weren't dialed in the way that they should have been. You know what I'm so I, I think it happens. I think that's that's in sport. That's in life. Where not everybody's going to be engaged every time you step on the floor. And you, you know, and particularly when you have a seven-game series like this, it gives everybody or both teams, for the most part, a chance to have the better team come out on top because guys go through ups and downs, whether it's engagement or play or whatever. And over the course of the seven games. You know, it usually shakes out. So I mean, I've been part of teams that upset heavily favored teams, and you know, it's it's, it's just part of part of the sport. Last question, guys.